Jake, you're laying on the vent. You're stealing all the air. What's up with that? It's 77 degrees in here. We need some air. And you're hogging it. Why are you hogging the air, Jake? He went shopping with Mama, had fun. He said, I love going bye-bye. He said, I'm a truck dog. I'm a Chevy dog. Little Cozy waiting on her daddy to come back. She just got through making us some brownies. Today is Sunday, August the 6th. It's Michelle from the Hudson Family Homestead. Don't have my teeth in. And um, it was a good day. Went to a new church uh, that I visited a couple of years ago. But she waited for her daddy to come back and bring her water. He's a good girl. Yeah. Check out their water. You want to take out their water? You want to take their water? She don't understand the music coming out of the phone. You have to see her. I got it on video turning her head when it started playing. Oh, that was awesome. She said, that's pretty, Daddy. Look at her. Storms rolling in, supposedly. Ooh. Yep. Keep lightning. It was really hot today, and we're going to have another hot one tomorrow. But I think we're supposed to get a reprieve from the heat um, by Wednesday. But yeah, that is just absolutely a beautiful sunset. Can you hear that rolling thunder? It's crazy, and we got heat lightning going on over there. Mm. <clears throat> you know, I know they say the devil is the prince of the air. And the Lord allows, um, I mean, this is his kingdom. Not, I don't believe this is, I believe the Lord is in control and he's sovereign, he's in control. He can stop anything, he, you know, that the devil, he, can, he controls the devil. But he is the prince of the air. So that's what the Bible says. When I hear Friends of the Air, I think, you know, storms. And they're just getting worse and worse because he knows his time is short. But we have to have our shield of faith. And we have to trust our Lord that he's not going to let happen. Nothing happen to us that, you know, is not his part of his plan. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on laying down the sin in my life that the Holy Spirit convicts me of. And I'm not going to be ashamed of my faith. I'm not ashamed of my faith, but there's just been a spirit of fear, and I'm rebuking him and coming out of agreement with him. I mean, I have been under some spiritual warfare. I mean, some attacks like you wouldn't believe, you know? trying to start a podcast ministry the sister adventures and he comes against my marriage he comes against um, 
my grown sons, we and I, you know, we're, we've got so much pain and hurt and trauma from our past, and, you know, I have to, it starts with me. And um, so I'm in the process of going to the Lord and having my past hurts healed by Jehovah Rapha. He is the God, my healer. But I do believe his return is very, very soon. I, I mean, I really believe it could be this year. And I might be wrong, and I'm not date setting, but if it's not this year, it's gonna be the next couple of years, I believe. And I know everybody says, oh, they've been saying that for years and years and years. Yeah, well, it's not like this. There's nothing to stop the rapture from happening unless the Lord enough people will humble themselves and pray and call on his name and um, then he'll come and heal their land and he can delay it but if he doesn't have mercy and delay it or it's not you know because he's got a remnant that he's going to call up in the rapture, but the dead in Christ are going to rise first, like my husband's mama. And then we that remain are going to be caught up and into, you know, we're going to escape God's wrath. I don't want to be here, because I mean, if this is just a taste of it, and this is birth pains, it's going to be, oh my gosh, oh, so much worse. <sighs> And I mean, I, you know, like I said, the devil's come against, you know, my grandchildren, my relationships with my godly friends, you know, time is short. We need to, to get our gowns, work, be working on getting our gowns spotless. I mean, if you're blind, if you think that this is just, you know, oh, this is like back in, back in the olden days, you know, in the 40s when they had wars and Hitler was a tyranny person, tyrannical person, and all this kind of stuff. No. You can go look anywhere globally. Romania, look them up. Hawaii, it's, it's everywhere but you're just not seeing it on the regular media because they're not going to, you know, they don't want people to get scared. But sometimes it takes a little fear to get a person to give their life to Christ or repent. But hey, that's a soul in the kingdom. All right, I got to go check my chicken wings. Bye. just pouring me some lemon juice um, into my my tea and this came out of my lemon juice bottle what the hell is that it's squishy it looks like a freaking belly button or something I have no idea what that is that was in my lemon juice bottle which is great value Walmart brand, and I'm hearing all these Walmart scary stories I've been watching on TikTok, and this is what just came out of my lemon juice bottle when I went to go pour me a glass of sweet tea. It's squishy. I mean, what the hell is that? <laughs>